Where are you going? Is this like a monster? I'll be with you soon, I promise. Ah, the child surprise I've heard so much. Uh, this can't be happening. Like Ooh, bacon. Greetings, Tasty Morsels. This is your first BLT here. Welcome back to the channel. Lost my train of thought. Because <laughs> you're old. Anyway, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, yes, I sometimes lose my train of thought. It's part of the service I provide. Anyway, today I'm getting into the last bit of The Witcher Season 2. I'm going to watch Episodes 7 and 8 today. Episode 7, I don't know what pronunciation rules they are using here, so I don't know if it's Voleth Meir or Voleth Meyer. Um, you know, there's like different pronunciation rules where you're supposed to do with the E and I put together. Generally, it's, you know, you pronounce, you say the name of the second letter in an E-I combination. Wow, that is very interesting. Please tell me more. But I have a feeling it's probably Voleth Meir. Uh, or Mayer, because that just sounds nicer rolling off the tongue. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to read the synopsis, because synopsis be spoiling people. Last time, though, we had, uh, you know, Yennefer being being bad. And, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping that she'll turn it around before the end and not go full-blown evil, but Yen can be very selfish sometimes, but, you know. Hopefully Piglet will remember that she's not a bad person. Yeah, she usually wouldn't at least let herself be actually evil. She's just selfish. And uh, Geralt fought fire asshole. <laughs> it's a, or uh, I think that's no. What did she? What did uh, Yennefer call him? Oh yeah, fire fuck. Close enough. That's what she'd like to call him. Uh, and uh, that was a very intriguing fight, full of like a uh, very different shooting style than uh, than I was used to. I prefer the old shooting style, but it was still a very effective fight scene. And, uh, but Yennefer, being bad, decided to take Ciri, um, with her. Uh, she got Ciri to open a portal. And, uh, like, I think that was Ciri's first conscious use of magic. And, uh, we don't know where they ended up yet. Uh, I'm kind of scared, judging by the surroundings, that maybe they went to Baba Yaga's actual, physical, real-world location, which, um, would not be good. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what's going on in this one. Thumbnail has, uh, Yaskier in it, so that already spoils something. <laughs> it's funny because I actually thought last episode was going to have, was going to be the reunion between Geralt and Yaskier because of the title, Dear Friend, but I was wrong. I was so, so wrong. Let's get into this episode. Wait a minute. Why does it almost look like she took her back to Sarah, Yennefer's house? You've been here before. The woman who lives here, she took me in. Oh, You're this place. Me. What happened I mean, to them? I first heard your name. It was from this house. Same big girl found me. It's interesting that you went here looking here. for safety. We felt safe. The battle at Sodom was closed. Maybe they fled. Maybe. I hope they fled. I really hope that, that nice family didn't get killed. Oh, yeah, fuck. Come on. She's feeling even worse now because she already feels like she causes no. death and destruction everywhere she goes. I left months ago. Nobody knew I was here. Let's go to Sintra together. Yen, don't be evil, Yen. Yennefer, wait. You see what happens to people who try to help me? I have to go alone. Siri, I'm not leaving your side. If anything were to happen to you, Geralt would never forgive me. <laughs> it's kind of weird that the main thing I'm thinking about right now is that these two horses are kind of lucky sorry. that they showed up because otherwise they would have just been tethered to this post and would have died of starvation. You have far too many clothes on. <laughs> Why are all the women in the show so pretty? Oh, so you guys started doing it, eh? Nothing. 
honestly I had a feeling they've been doing it before like before we even started sort of getting hints that they might do it like maybe it was like a rekindling of an old flame you my partner you can tell me if something's wrong I don't trust you big of forts I'm sorry, build up for it. Authority means new responsibilities. I don't want to burden you. A new position of authority doesn't change the fact that I love you. Wait a minute, he still managed to become Your pain is a leader in the council even after the colossal fuck up of Yennefer? We have an unexpected. <laughs> running, like, at the uh, execution? Oh. Trist. Redania must be up to something. All this talk of loyalty, why is it the generals I'm doubting the most? Should I count you among them, Kahir? Everything I do is in service of the White Flame. And what do you think I'm doing? Fringilla. This is odd. He seemed firmly in command in the last time I'm we saw this pair. I really think that I would be telling you all of this. Now seems more like what she's in command. If the elves refuse to serve, let me deal with them. The generals will respect a strong hand. So will the mere. I mean, if he is the commander of the military forces, he is the one who should be dealing with lapses in military discipline. But they don't need to be punished super severely. Are you going to do it? Or should I? I've done nothing wrong! Please, my lady! For fuck's sake! So funny! I need this guy to die. This isn't just about security for him. He just enjoys and you doing this stuff. A leader. And he's going to be a problem. You're going to have to make an example of him very soon. With hope Are you in prison, you ask you? You seem to find yourself in prisons a lot. Sometimes it takes a prison cell The tricks and tales the traitors tell To help you see Actually, I guess, wait, I'm probably wrong about that. I think it's actually Geralt who finds himself in prison cells more often than Yaskir. So He's a true artist. Every Everything gives him an uh, opportunity to come up with a new song. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you <laughs> awesome. Cause you're through fucking with me. Thank you. Thank so you know the word, and I'll cut your tongue out. Room's a crit. <laughs> Guys, Dude. your harmonies were a little pitchy. Gordon, you're amazing. Talent recognizes talent. Let's go again. Three, four, fucking. <laughs> fucking hell. You know what? We're trying to rehearse in here. Not no talent if I shoved it up you girl. Fuck it. There we go. I've missed you too. You basically told me to fuck off. Remember? And you left me. Basically, I'm pretty sure it's the exact words to use. You've seen these boots. I need your help. Fine. But first. Gentlemen, it's been an honor. Mice are adorable. What? It's too bad they carry diseases that kill us. Get over it. Jealous? I'm still broken up over the fact that I had to kill some mice. They got into a house I was renting. The diseases that they can give us are quite fatal. So. Has the social graces of a wild boar, but he's. He's your protector. It's more than that, I think. He's a father I never had. When I'm with him, I don't, I don't feel alone anymore. What was between you and Geralt? Longing? Regret? Hope and fear. So, a relationship. <laughs> So, you love him too. I'm not sure Yen had ever really truly accepted that, that she loved Girl. I always loved him. 
time when? <laughs> Absolutely not. I had a cousin named Kynwen. She ate her own head. <laughs> Usually this is the sort of thing you decide before the baby's born. I trust you're unaware that your fighters failed to show this morning. I heard. Well, then I trust you'll make sure it never happens again. It's time for us now to add to our numbers, not to die in someone else's war. Our war is your war. Fringilla, as a friend, I must ask, are these your words or Cahir's? have to maintain this alliance. It is working. You have your baby. And I have a most favor. We can all stay this way if our bond remains strong. I value the bond we have. But family. Blood. That's the only bond that can't be broken. And that's the one I must protect. Yeah, but making an enemy a Nilfgaard is probably not going to protect that bond. Triss is here. She fell ill in Temeria. And has come here to recover. Hmm. Yes, there are tales of many a strange stomach ailment this spring. All of them coming from up in the mountains, though. Give her my best. How do you know about oh, that, Deepster? As long as you give King Vizimir hours for this distracting information about the baby. Say is no fool. Deepster. So I'm starting to think that it's Deepster who hired the firefucker. It's part of his plan. The theatrics. The distraction. Yeah, she definitely, okay, it's definitely Dijkstra who's behind this particular faction. I guess I should have realized with the birds. He seems to have a thing with birds. Fine, you little lunatic, you can have it. Nectar. I've not washed in quite some time, and I'm beginning yeah, to smell. Ever since like Siri must really be dangerous. Stuff. So, if you'll excuse me. Oh, plus that stuff I just thought about is the stuff that was designed to mutate people into witchers, and it's usually fatal to women. Oh, you could hang portraits off my nipples right now. Fan service. She wouldn't. She would. What? Sacrifice your child surprise to get her magic back? You bet your bloated bicep she would. Who left me as a demon that feeds on pain. We need to go to Centra. Okay. So Valethmi yeah, Mayor is the name they know Baba Yaga by. That's a name I don't think that I have ever heard Someone before, really so you didn't like my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who's after you? Oh, it's these guys! Your name's gone to shit. And if it isn't a white fucking wolf and a big fucking mouth. <laughs> Love these guys. Put your weapons down, numpty arseholes. You know we're heading towards a big finale when we start getting uh, friends, plural, old friends back together. Yeah, I know. This mount's too big for us lot anyway. What's the mission, if you don't mind me asking? I do. <laughs> the secret kind. My favorite. <laughs> Name him Roach. Not my usual type. You'll do. Come on, boys. The king can wait. But going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Love these guys so much. Standard tactics. Take out the bridges. It's half a day's ride. We don't have that kind of time. Your teacher, another bit of magic, yeah, so you guys can get for behind. But there is a way. You can either be too strong to fail or too weak to try. You can do this, Siri. I believe in you. 
man. Yen, these are all such good things that you're saying, and but you're doing it for bad reasons. Don't be evil. <laughs> She's got good memory for new words and phrases. She only needed to be told that once. That's enough. Leading from the eyes is never good. We'll find another route. You won't hurt yourself. She's gonna hurt the world. Siri, stop! Uh oh. What'd you do? Holy shit, did you just literally teleport you guys to the other side? I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened. When you have power like this, never apologize. God damn, the acting in this show is so good. And she brought the horses too. <laughs> Shit. Man, if she ever learns to harness that power, like to do whatever she wants willingly. Whoo. She's essentially a god. The information you told me about Siri, about what you saw when you performed the Doll Dooza. Who else knows? The other witches are new. I don't trust anyone else. Chris? No. No, I said I would call you when she was ready. I need to know everything about the girl. Now. You told him. I need you to tell me everything, Triss. Triss. Triss, you feel before it's... She wasn't ready. This is why I didn't want to tell you. This isn't a game to say. If what she says is true, this child has the potential to end all war forever. Unless she falls into the wrong hands. In and no if that happens, forever. the consequences will be ours to own. What are you planning on doing with her? Because I made a promise to Triss, and I will not continue to put my girls at risk unnecessarily. I wouldn't ask you to if it wasn't necessary! Calm the fuck down, the Forts. I have always considered you my equal partner. My most trusted confidant. I wish I could prove to you that I'm worthy of the same. How about you tell her why you think it's so necessary? I mean, that's the easiest thing. Start with an explanation. You're my blood. And that is a bond that is stronger than all others. Even in magic, that's considered true, usually. Under most systems, I've seen. I'm asking you for help. Just for once, will you give it? Let's be honest. Whatever is brewing out there, the Brotherhood needs reinforcements in here. If you were to return, you need to plead your case. Apologize as well. Apologies? She, she's personally responsible for the deaths of dozens of mages. Back there at all, my dear. There are those who are obsessed with finding power and there are those who know their place. You know which one you are, thank gods. You wouldn't have come back here if you didn't. That was a misread. Your niece definitely loves power. Oh wow, this place has a monolith. Where, where is this? Oh, it's center. I didn't realize there was a monolith right there in the middle of it. Soldiers murder my kind. And now I'm watching Nilfgaard do the same. We're supposed to be on the same side. Searching for Princess Cirilla. She's alive. I know it. I will find her. As soon as we unload Frangilla's dead weight. If we don't, all our heads will be on the top. 
Someone's cast some freezing magic. <laughs> but only on the people. So much resentment for my Aratus in training that I forget. There were bright spots. Botany, for example. And what oh, else so could boys? I learn? The paralytic qualities of nightshade. Doesn't nightshade oh, kill people, though? In a glass of mead. When Yennefer of Lingerberg stole the seat of Aiden to which I was entitled, and that <laughs> taught me whenever I guess the light was for his Take it. <laughs> Your power. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, I did not see that coming. Whatever is required. Oh, and just the knowledge on their faces of what's coming and the fact they can't do anything about it. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Holy fuck. This show is just... You earned. The show, man. How did it come to this gear? I may never know if you were planning to overthrow me or not. But one thing I do know. Wow. I am never going back to that dungeon. A man needs to hear of the treachery I just uncovered. And he needs the general that he trusts most. Tell him I was justified. So when he arrives tomorrow, rave. That's a power move right there. What was that? Understand, so I'm guessing that's supposed to mean that Baba Yaga fed on something from that, but our little spy Dara has had a change of heart. I pay you to solve problems, Deekstra, not fill my head with piling bad news. Not bad news, my lord. Bedlam. And if our goal is to destabilize the continent, Bedlam is good news. Yes, well... Dijkstra, why do you want to like help this guy? Trust me, your highness. Elven spy or not, we are in a strong position. And I have many more eyes in the fire. Unless you're trying to end up becoming king of everything I yourself. I understand that what's a demon wants to eat your child's surprise and all. Look, people do stupid things when they think they're trapped in a corner, girl. And they say stupid things. And that's what friends do. They come back. This is different. I love you, Yaskier. And I'm sorry, Yaskier. Oh, you are always so emotional. I just <laughs> yap, yap, yap with you sometimes. Oh, Yaskier, I'm so sad and complicated. Shut up, Yaskier. You shut up. That is a perfect impression of you, by the way. <laughs> I want to learn to ride a horse. That was a monolith there. The blackest stellocyte. What happened to it? She did. Me. You did that. Jennifer, are you starting to get a little scared? Theory. Promise me something. If we get separated. Remember what you have. Magic. It's lodged in you, like a spiked arrow. Wounds you deeply. But it's a strange sort of pain. Combined with bliss. You controlled the chaos. But it controls me. No one's been able to teach me how to use it. 
learn. You'll learn. I'm afraid, Yennefer. It took her years. For crying out loud, wasn't she in Eratuza for like six months before she could lift her stone? Deliver me to the shattered black door. Ah, huh. to that monolith specifically. Oh, Siri, can you see it? You still have time to turn back. It's not too late. And you? For me, it is. Oh, yeah, for did you choose not to be evil at the chaos. end? I thought I had to. Siri, just how powerful are you? Sorry, Holy shit. Don't go. I need to get to him. He's not here! You have to come with me. Now! I don't trust you! Oh dear. It's like a crossroads. You guys need to get the fuck out of Dodge. Get to the horses now! Jennifer, what are you doing? Use your powers! Oh shit. You guys are screwed now, Nilfgaard soldiers. Got the white wolf and this merry band of dwarves. Oh my god, guys. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh yes, dear. Dude, you need to teach her some signs. Seriously. Oh, that was a nice parry. Ooh. The eyes? Oh, come on, man. Are you really prepared to do it, girl? How could you do this? I'm so sorry. Where are you going? To slay a monster. Oh. I'll be with you soon, I promise. Ah, the child surprise I've heard so much uh, This can't be happening. Like father, like daughter. The girl. Yours? Mine. Can't be happening. Say it. We hold them a sort of forest. Restless mother, nesting in dreams, turn your front to me. Hut, hut. No! She needed their pain to feel to basically revive herself. Or restore her self to true potency. The first one just imprisoned her in this hut fraternity. She should yeah, be able to escape. Need it. Blood magic. Unless... What? Unless she's had her fill of pain and desperation. I thought he was going to kill Yennefer, man. <laughs> she possessed Siri at the end? 
think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I you know I've mused before about like exactly how on earth can people contend against mages? <laughs> you know that scene with Frangilla really nailed that home. Just they are so incredibly dangerous. I guess the only way to really beat one is to get the drop on them. I'm really curious what the hell Dijkstra's deal is, because he seems to be pursuing his own private agenda. I don't think for even a second that he really cares about Redania and putting that king uh, in power over the entire continent. I think he's he's making his own power play and he's just using Redania to do so. Um, but he definitely appears to be against Artuza as well. And of course, still trying to figure out what the hell Baba Yaga or Voleth Meir is actually trying to do. Like, what is her end game other than just being free? Now we, we at least have that extra step now. We know that she wanted to consume all of the this pain and everything so that she could free herself. But now what is she planning on doing? I guess to, we probably just need to know more about the legend they had from that first group of witchers that imprisoned her. What was she doing back then? Because I assume that she probably wants to go back to whatever that was. And next episode, the White Flame arrives. And he's going to find only one of his generals left who is under severe threat from Frangilla to say that, hey, you know, uh, Frangilla had to kill all the other ones because they were plotting against you. And I wonder if he's actually going to do that or if he's going to roll the dice and try to tell the White Flame what really happened and hope that somehow the Emperor will be able to save him. And why is Vilgefort so obsessed with getting the information from Triss. Like, what does he want to do with Ciri? I assume that he wants to take the super weapon that she is and turn her against the elves, and possibly against all the enemies of Aratuza and basically make Aratuza the ruling force, not just behind the scenes, but like an open fact of the entire continent. But there's another question we need answered. Everybody's acting in this episode was just amazing. Um, I, I just, I believed every single moment from, from everyone. And, but I have to say the MVP of this episode was definitely, um, uh, what is her name? Uh, the actress who plays Yennefer. Um, she was just so amazing in this episode. I really, <laughs> uh, still actually giving me a little bit of like, uh, I don't know, like, anxiety in a sense. Like, like, I really thought Geralt was about to kill Yennefer. And, like, it was freaking me out. Because um, I really just don't want to see that happen. I don't... I still root for them on some level. I, you know, I still... I still ship it. And I'm a sucker for romance and, you know, true love. And I just really... I think they both need it so badly. And I really want it for them. And, you know, to see it potentially end, you know, in such a tragic way. It really made me sad. But, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end this reaction. I'm going to say thank you guys uh, for watching this with me. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below. I always like hearing from you guys. And as always, do your best to stay safe and be well. I'm going to go ahead and watch the next one right now. Bye. How about a magic trick? I'm going to make this pencil disappear. It's... it's gone.